How important is a team on a big show, That's a big important. film? It's pretty important to have, uh, you know, the, the uh, you know, on a, on a, on a big film, for, for instance, on, on a, any Tony Scott movie or, or any Ridley Scott movie, any, any movie like the movie I'm doing right now, it's, uh, there's such a quick turnover of the picture. If I blink, um, you, you know, they'll send over a new cut. Yeah. Uh, and what I've been working on the last 48 hours is now shuffled, the scene has moved, hmm. the scene has gone. Uh, and what I did have now doesn't work or it would work if this was here and this was here. Mm. So there's a bit of that going on. At the same time, one doesn't want to be looking backwards, so we've got to keep one eye on the, on the end game. Um, you know, on a movie like this, there's 85 minutes of music. That's a lot of music yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah. For, for, for someone to do. Now, um, but uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm looking down the barrel at 85 minutes of music at the moment, but I'm not too, too uh, distraught because I have done that before. I've, I've pulled that off a few times before. <clears throat> and I know I, I know the key areas where I've, I've got to concentrate. So that's that's really it. And you chip away, like in any any job or any task, you chip away at it. And if you were starting from scratch today, yeah. and nobody had ever heard of you, mm. and you hadn't got credits, mm. where do you begin? Um, I don't know. I think you be, going back to the uh, something we mentioned earlier. I think you begin by solidifying your own belief in what you have. Mm. Uh, and not maybe one that, you know, when one's beginning like that, one doesn't have much confidence in oneself. I, I certainly didn't. And that's something that Hans Zimmer really helped me with in terms of like, you know, because I nearly turned around and got the boat back, you know what I mean? Uh, and he was like, absolutely not. There's no chance you're going to do that. You're going to, you know, if this is tough. It is difficult. It's a difficult one. I can't remember what movie I was working on, Armageddon or something like that. I didn't obviously didn't get the, the credit for much of a credit on that one, um, but it was it was cool. I was working with Trevor Rabin, um, and years earlier, you know, I remember this racket coming out of my sister's bedroom, and it was yes, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and that was Trevor. So there I was, you know, helping him score a film. Um, but you know, the, it was those sort of moments were pretty tough with Jerry Bruckheimer and Michael Bay, two pretty gnarly filmmakers who mm. I don't think twice about uh, pushing, you know, so you've been up for a week, to, you know, doing a cue just so. Doesn't, doesn't work for me walking out, uh, you know, back to the drawing board. So these are these are good early lessons for me that, that you've got to stick at it. But uh, in answer to your question, I don't really have any very good idea about where one would start, other than, you know, with one's in in the privacy of one's own room, studio, whatever it is. I, I have my my studio in my bedroom in in uh, West Kensington when I, you know, before I came to to LA, and uh, I remember getting a little BBC job called. Um, um, Oh, it, was a, it was a series of ghost stories for the BBC, um, and a lovely director. I don't know how they chose me. Or how the hell I got that job? I had absolutely no track record. I think it's because I had been assisting Richard Harvey, and he had a really, oh, yeah. really good track record. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he must have put in a word for me. But I, but um, I suddenly realised, <laughs> where am I going to play this music for this imaginary music that I haven't composed yet for the, for the director? Because my studio was, it was like a keyboard and MC50, a little sequencing thing. Yeah. It was in my bedroom, you know, my yeah. one-bedroom apartment uh, in a basement flat in uh, God knows where. And, uh, but, you know, like... You managed. Right. Yeah, Somehow you managed. Yeah. <laughs> the director, she didn't mind. The director was like, fine, you know, whatever it takes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and so one moves on from there. But I, I think sort of closing, closing the, the field around you and realising that you're not expected to score or even have the potential to be able to score the next Spider-Man movie. What would be great is to look inside and see what music you like and what what really would turn you and i i from a very early time i fancied doing a thriller i really fa i really wanted to do you know i had seen movies um i don't know uh, uh, when i say thriller i don't mean an, at all i don't mean an action movie i mean something like the shawshank redemption mm. something that's kept you on your toes and, mm. and was thrilling uh, but had a really good story and i really fancied doing that and uh, i remember before i came to l.a you know, I was I was casting myself about trying to fi find anybody with a film that I could score, um, and I didn't have to look very far. Actually, my girlfriend, cousin at the time, had a had a, was directed a film. It was called White Angel, I think, and uh, 
Yeah, I was basically like, I, I could score that for you. She said, oh, great. <laughs> well, that'll save me some money. <laughs> <laughs> so I did, and uh, you know, I did it, and, I, and it, was, it was all mine, and I, I was able to experiment, even if I were to hear it now, which I'd rather not, actually. But, hmm. but you know, I'm sure there are various little chord moves and shakes that probably come from my childhood. I don't know. i probably okay. come f as far back as, as uh, you know, I was a chorister at St. John's, and we had to basically sing for our supper at St. John's, Cambridge. Um, so I, you know, I had, I was subjected to a, you know, I could read music better than I could read English by the time I was seven. Uh, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if there, there are echoes of that filtered yeah. through to me. But somehow I already had, had found sort of chord sequences and moves that I like. Yeah. And I started to call my own. Now, of course, they're not necessarily mine at all. But they, you know, you develop it's your them. musical personality. Yeah, exactly, precisely. Which may other people may share. So yeah. it may not be completely unique on the planet. But um, and I, I quite liked that idea. And I, and I think that's what what I've tried to develop over the years is is, is exactly that a musical personality. And where where you know I'm not pretending yeah. too much. You know, because yeah. there's something I remember Hans told me a very early, <laughs> early on. I was working on a film with him called Broken Arrow. And I was totally miscast because it was a big old action shoot it up movie, and I'd I'd never really, never ever scored anything like that or helped anybody hmm. on a film like that, and I didn't think I would be right for it. He's like, no, oh, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Just, just, just. Um, and uh, you know, it's it's all about allowing yourself to to learn as well, yeah, and, and pick up things. You know, I I realised very quickly that. That on 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 that movie that Hans was he was looking at a scene and trying to find a pace well, even before music you know find a pace a BPM mm. um, a flow mm. and he probably was imagining music in his head but the first thing was to find the pace of what the music was doing and you know I found that very interesting I'd never really looked at it like that um, and you know some people would then set their sequence up and yeah. program a hi hat go for ten minutes some people might. Sorry, Hans, go for a string or start to do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and copy that over for 100 bars and see where that takes them. But, you know, we're all different. And I think that's what's, what's cool about it. But the end result is we're all trying to score movies and tell stories through the music. Absolutely. Thank you so much indeed. Oh, no worries.